You're watching the news on Bahrain International. I'm Hamid Shaban. Good evening. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued three old royal decrees for the year 2017. The first decree appointed His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali Al Khalifa as the governor of the southern region for a period of four years. The second decree reappointing Nawaf Mohammed Al Maouda as ombudsman at the Ministry of Interior with the rank of undersecretary for a period of five years. The third decree appointed Sheikh Hamad bin Isa bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa as general manager of the National Charter Edifice. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received at Libya Palace today a number of state officials, businessmen, intellectuals and journalists. He affirmed that the government has adopted effective policies to develop the national economy, boost investment and economic cooperation, both at the regional and global levels, and attract investors to the kingdom. His Royal Highness noted that economy is root of development, which is why the government has formulated its strategies and plans to be more dynamic to ensure national development. The Premier praised the values of coexistence, virtue and enlightenment of the Bahrain people which attract investments. He also discussed with the audience the latest local developments where he emphasized the importance of documenting the efforts of those who strive for the development of Bahrain. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received a number of members from the late Sheikh Salman bin Rashid bin Mohammed Al Khalifa's family where they expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness for his condolences affirming that His Royal Highness represents a model of leadership. His Royal Highness stated that communication between citizens in various circumstances is a duty, noting that it strengthens national unity. The guests wish His Royal Highness abundant health and happiness. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today at Libya Palace the editor-in-chief of Kuwaiti Asia's uh, newspaper Ahmed Abdul Aziz Jarallah. His Royal Highness reviewed with the guests the latest regional developments, the efforts of the government to speed up development in the kingdom, Bahrain's achievements in various fields and the investment opportunities and incentives for businessmen that the kingdom provides. He hailed the role of journalism and its effective participation in helping the public challenges the region faces and the efforts exerted to combat terrorism and protect people, noting the role of Kuwaiti 
to journalism, especially SCS, a newspaper, on the Gulf and Arab levels and their efforts to highlight Gulf achievements in various fields to enhance brotherly relations between countries that share the aims of defending regional causes. The Prime Minister commended SCS, a newspaper, for being a media platform with a well-established regional status, expressing appreciation for the leading role of Ahmed al Jarallah in the development of journalism in Kuwait. His Rohan has highlighted the relations between Bahrain and Kuwait and the development they witnessed that qualifies them to be a model for advanced relations between countries. His Rohan is the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received at Rafah Palace today the newly appointed Ambassador of Malaysia to the Kingdom of Bahrain, Ajo Salam Haji Yusuf. His Rohan has welcomed the Ambassador, underlining the progress of bilateral ties and the Kingdom's continued commitment to advancing cooperation with Malaysia in various sectors. He wished him success in his diplomatic assignment. His Rohan has praised Malaysia's progress and development, noting its significant recent successes and achievements in terms of economic development. The meeting provided an opportunity opportunity for His Royal Highness and the newly appointed Malaysian Ambassador to review the latest regional and international developments as well as issues of common interest. The newly appointed Malaysian Ambassador expresses gratitude for the opportunity to meet with His Royal Highness and for His Royal Highness's continued support for advancing Bahraini-Malaysian relations and bilateral cooperation. The personal representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and Chairman of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa received the Foreign Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Hamad Al Khalifa, who introduced the participants in the founding program of the new diplomats organized by the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. The program is aimed at graduating qualified national cadres to serve Bahrain's foreign policy. His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa was briefed by the Foreign Minister on the noble objectives of the program aimed at introducing participants to the correct bases of diplomatic relations and the basics of forming relations between countries within the diplomatic framework. His Highness Sheikh Nasser conveyed to them greetings from His Majesty the King, expressing His Majesty's pride in the youth of Bahrain for their great sacrifices for the progress of the country and for their dedication to preserving the kingdom's security and protecting its achievements. His Highness said that His Majesty the King fully recognizes the important role of young people in the kingdom's growth, prosperity and protection, and that His Majesty directed all the sectors of the kingdom to provide a balanced and comprehensive care for young people and meet their needs. His Highness underlined the important role of young people to gain knowledge and skills in the diplomatic field. His Highness said that the Kingdom of Bahrain is always looking forward to building strong relations with all countries on the basis of mutual respect, good neighborliness and common interests. However, it refuses to expose or undermine and interfere in its internal affairs and what some countries hostile to the Kingdom and terrorist organizations are trying to distort Bahrain's reputation. But the Bahraini youth have a responsibility to respond and resolve to those countries and organizations. His Highness added that the program of the new diplomats is one of the outstanding and successful programs offered by the foreign ministry, which confirms the ministry's strategy to qualify a number of Bahraini diplomats to be future ambassadors of the kingdom. For his part, the foreign minister expressed his thanks and appreciation to His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa for meeting the participants in the program, noting that His Highness is inspiring the Bahraini youth and gives them confidence and strength to continue the challenge to be the best ambassadors for Bahrain in the future. The the Minister of Foreign Affairs stated that the Kingdom of Bahrain, under the guidance of His Majesty the King, is keen to qualify a number of young diplomats to implement the Kingdom's foreign policies based on the principles of brotherhood, friendship and common interests, in addition to confronting all those who defame Bahrain and broadcast false news about it, stressing that the Kingdom has a wise and honest diplomacy. Later, an open discussion was held between His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa and the participants.
The personal representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and Chairman of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, congratulated the wise leadership on the occasion of the National Junior Volleyball Team winning the title of the 14th Arab Junior Volleyball Championship in Jordan. His Highness affirmed that this achievement is thanks to the continuous support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to the sports sector, which resulted in a number of accomplishments in various international events. His Highness congratulated the team and praised the significant level of Bahraini volleyball. He affirmed that the Bahrain Olympic Committee will support this team, hoping that this achievement will further motivate players. He praised the efforts of the team in making this success, which affirms the significant level of the Bahraini volleyball on the Arab level. He also praised the role of the administrative and technical bodies in contributing to this success. His Highness also hailed the role of the strategies of the Bahraini Volleyball Association, led by Sheikh Ali bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, in preparing the suitable atmospheres and the appropriate environment for the national team. Good evening and welcome to the Business News on Bahrain International. I'm Barah Abdallah. Let's start with the local stocks. As the Bahrain All Share Index has closed at 1,319.97 points, marking a decrease of 2.61 points below the previous closing. This decrease was due to the fall in the commercial bank sector, investment sector, and services sector. Bahrain Islamic Index has closed at 1,096.73 points, marking a decrease of 0.52 points below the previous closing. Results indicated that 57 equity transactions took place with a volume of 2,936,090, worth 634,866 Bahraini dinars. Investors traded mainly in the services sector, representing 59% of the total value of shares traded.